uh, the pure form would be just acoustic songs, I guess, or, or just taking it on the road and not even recording it. I mean, but I, I suppose I suppose we 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 were less fussy in the studio production-wise. It kind of is like that, but it was just a the garage had it was just a bit more expensive. It had more expensive stuff in it, I suppose. About a third of the stuff was written before we went in the studio, and the rest was bouncing it off each other. I'm into that. I'm into improvising, and I hope to do a lot more of that kind of thing. So it was kind of like a disaster movie video, you know, and um, we are struggling to play on. And, uh, you, know, in fact, you know, it's kind of half corny, really. Yeah, it's those harnesses, though, you have to wear when you have to, when you start flying in the air, though. That's a bit... That's not very nice, really. We just had to cut holes in our clothes so the wires could come out. The libido was kind of at zero for about a week after being thrown around by your groin, you know? And we're, and we're unofficially the Woohoo Band. It's really nice. It's, it's an outburst, you know. It's 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 the most gratuitously, it's the most gratuitous kind of rock statement anyone could make, isn't it? It's a sudden dynamic change, and it's like a someone shouting something. I mean, that's really what most people respond to.